as a participant, as a fellow community member, that it's important for us to get a little bit more educated as it pertains to research so that we can help things to advance, like the proper medications for people of our culture. Well, when you believe in something and something is important to you, you have to be willing to step out there and use yourself as an example. Without the community, there's no research. I am a principal of a K-8 school in Durham. I was online looking for information for my staff about when the next round of vaccinations would come around for the educators. I stumbled across the website and just clicked on and filled out for the, for the, to be a participant of the research project. My theory is the more vaccines we have, the faster and more efficiently we'll be able to vaccinate the world. If we have five, six, seven, ten different ways to do this, then that means more people are going to be able to live safely and try to return us to a new normal. In order for these medications to advance and all the wonderful scientific things that have happened that has been an advantage for people living with HIV and affected by HIV, we had to have research studies. Without having women input, we can't get things like PrEP. You know, one of the second medications that came out for PrEP was only tested in men and not women, so that excluded women. So now, of course, there's new things that are coming out, but that's only been in existence because we have women in studies. Right now, I'm pre principal investigator of PI for two different types of research. One is a clinical trial, a study that compares two different types of medicines for preventing HIV among women. So we're looking for women, especially black women, for this study. While HIV is not common among black women, it's much more common than it is among white women, and this can and should come to an end. A lot of medical advances have been made in all kinds of conditions, like HIV, COVID-19, heart disease, cancer, if we as black people are going to reap the benefits of these advances and not be left behind, we need to make sure that the researchers developing these new treatments have access to information from black participants to increase the likelihood that these new treatments benefit us. I believe it's the, the best relationship because no matter how much time we can put into research, if we don't have the community and have their backing, we, we're we not doing this, we're doing this for nothing. And so I find it very important for the community to be involved and the researchers to take that feedback and to make sure that their voices are being heard. Everything doesn't work for everybody. Everybody's culture is different. And particularly people of color, because we are disproportionately affected by so many different issues, it's time for us to take a stand. It's time for scientists and researchers and doctors to hear our voices and not assume what needs to be done for us. We can't stay in the present. We have to make sure that as a, as a group, as a race, that our children and our children's children have the greatest opportunity. So you have to be willing to step out there so that our future for our children is guaranteed.